Jason or somebody did. What are y'all doing over? Look, he blames Jason immediately, if not sooner. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Go, David. That'll work. That'll work. Hey, Ben. Someone has sabotaged your microphone. Sabotaged the microphone. You can't let nobody in here. They tear up everything. Where'd you get them cool rays at? He's the man with no eyes off of a cool hand. We got these. This is one of our sponsors. Is it? Yeah, I like those. Is it? Yeah. I look like a... Cool hand Luke? No, I look like one of the Beatles. There you go. Are you wearing sunglasses now? Well, I, have to, I gotta have I, I gotta have some kind of eyeglass on. Did you get your lenses busted again? Yeah, and it was t- t- Twilight Zone 2. Twilight, Twilight Zone? Zone 2. Yeah. Did you get in anybody else's vehicle afterwards? No. <laughs> Sorry. No, because we talked about that on the way up. I said, what color is this vehicle I'm in? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know? So I went out there well, and said, no. Good <laughs> I didn't know it was blue. Good grief, get out of my car. But the funniest thing <laughs> the funniest thing about that was, though, that the guy that I tried to get in his car, he had a pair of these on, too, because he had his eyes done, and he was just laughing his head off. <laughs> said, I'm not there with you, brother. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if this is my car or not. Yeah, yeah. it was funny. That it made hilarious. him wonder, didn't it? So now yeah. both eyes are repaired. So 20, you got 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So you're like Superman. Oh, no. Six million dollar man. Oh, no. Look, I was killing deer and ducks and doves and everything with blind. And I was a blind. Yeah. Now that I got out, these boys are in for a treat when I go hunting with them now. <laughs> and got, it's almost <laughs> over. <laughs> you got like three days left, so. What I want to know is no, it's more where's the days. fish bite? Where's the fish biting? Well, on all the that water messed everybody on the hook. up. They biting on nah, the hook? Nah, nah. Nah, well, God, well, not everybody's as good as you, so they're catching them on Darbone, though. Poverty. Some people have been trying caning. I talked to your dad at church. Caney, hey, I, I I'm going to, to Caney, 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 Caney today. I can tell you where to catch them. Huh? I can tell you where to catch them. There you go. Where at? In the water. Oh, boy. I can tell you where to catch them <laughs> on. Hook. Yeah. <laughs> well. well. <laughs> I wonder if they get wet when it rains. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. They probably get under a boat. Huh? No, no, they're probably underwater. So I don't think they get wet. Mm. <laughs> the new improved sign with twenty twenty vision. Yeah. I've never thought about I, what fish do when it rains until this very moment. They get under a log. Hey. <laughs> mm. Do you think they know it's raining? That's like that boy I walked up. Yeah, to they the know bank. it's raining. They like any any creature is is. They didn't sense. They could. They could tell you fix the rain. Can you? No, I ain't a creature. They ain't never told me when it's gonna <laughs> rain. Well, I, th- I take it back. I may be a creature. You may be a creature. I think he is. I think he's part creature. <laughs> That's like that boy hollered at me. I, just I was on the bank of the river, and he was on the other side of the river. He said. You need to help me get to the other side. I said, you are on the other side. That's right. <laughs> my other side. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, that's funny. So, Cy, si, new eyeballs. Yep. Have you done anything with them that you couldn't do before? He drove yeah. up here. I could actually read words on a television screen. He stayed in between the two lines. Good yeah. night. What happened to your glasses with just the one lens? Huh? It's at the house. <laughs> you pop the other one out? No. They ain't, they ain't no. a drawer. <laughs> they in that top drawer, that junk drawer. That's right. Junk drawer, boys. Don't are you gonna, no more. Are you going to keep the sunglass thing going? Because I'm kind of rooting for that. Uh, no, no, I am. <laughs> I, I, I've ordered me. They're called Battle Vision. Battle Vision. Yeah. You ain't seen oh, the commercial? Is well, I was the, about to say, no. definitely a late night commercial. No, no. Are these <laughs> tinted yellows? Uh, I, well, I hope they are. Okay. I'll it'd be it'd be like shooting glasses. I got you. I just had I need something you know protect my eyes. As, that's it. Yeah. If you type it yeah. in, as seen on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, no. Well, hey, I'm a good. Uh, what hey, comes I, I, on at two I'm o'clock in the morning? This. I'm giving people free advertisers here. You ordered yeah. you ordered these? Yes, I ordered them. You Is got it? the blue ones? Uh, well, I don't know what. I told her to order me two or two or three pair. Well, they come in a three pack, which Oh, do they? Hey, well that's I, <laughs> boy, that's great then. Did you act now? Every and other get, day and get an extra pair? Oh no, they gonna three? come in they're that's gonna literally come in. This website. I told her, I told her since I'm going hunting with Willie <laughs> this weekend, I said, Hey, get them get them here by Friday afternoon. There they are. <laughs> so I don't know that that's the look we're going for, though. But, well, no, no, no. Like, I just don't think you that's understand. your brand. Hey, no, no. You got to understand. 
During stormy weather. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, it makes everything clear. It helps you drive night. better. No, no, and at night, if you have trouble with the lights, mm -hmm. this here will knock out the light. I guarantee you. Okay, because it shows them on the commercial there. They're at dark, and they said, I can't believe I can see like this. It's dark out here, but look how clear it is. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, hey, I'm giving them a good uh, That's the best thing since right now. Spread. Hey, there better not be trash, because I will trash talk them bad if, yeah, if they're, they're not, bad. These are not a sponsor, so. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I going to give you an honest I, review. I, I, yeah, I Are you going to give them a review of how cool you're going to look while you wear it? That's right. That's right. Yeah. Are you sure? Not only not <laughs> only will I be able to see better, I'll look cool too. <laughs> You're gonna hey. look like a shortstop in 1994. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with that? He's bringing it back, boys. Hey, what's wrong with back. looking like a shortstop in 1994? But wait, 94 oh. was a pretty good <laughs> year. Back now, it's <laughs> a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. But I, anyway, I wanted I, I wanted to try them because they show more. They got cool commercials on. Okay. Well, yeah, they look like. Well, hey, they look, they make it, they, you know, it's kind of movie making. They make everything look clearer. So I'm going I'm to test them and see if they, they're truthful. I do like well, the Well, I thought you just got your eyes busted so you could see clear. I did. But I won't have, I want to have some protection. I just don't on. make no hey, sense. Hey, look, for a man that's wore glasses about me all his life. You got to wear them. You got to wear them. Nobody yeah. will recognize me if I don't. That's right. <laughs> that's true. And now you're going to have. Blue stormtrooper glasses on, so everybody like, oh, hey, that's battle obviously on vision. Yeah. Battle, battle vision. vision. I'm sorry. Battle Get it right. vision. You're gonna say it. Get it right. <laughs> You're not incorrectly. <sighs> I'm really looking forward to you wearing these all the time. Yeah. <sighs> Did you get the blue ones? They they only come in blue. Oh, they only come. Well, no, you, they don't. They don't. You can get a. They six. had them yellow too. You can get a six pack. Right there, I see What's blue wrong? and yellow. What's wrong with like where's yellow? At? I just see the blue frames. Look over on the left side. Well, hey, come Saturday, I'll that's tell y'all. That's blue frame. You won't be here Saturday. After I get back from, well, oh. after I get back from Mississippi, oh, I'll tell right. you. Well, take you said I got overnight shipping. Take well, hey, no, they extra. didn't do it. They didn't do it. I told her, I said, hey, get them here before, you nah. know, for tomorrow. Hey, no. Nah. Well, take it with me. She said, hey, can't do it. That's right. No, nah, they didn't try. That's uh, Hey, wait. You're talking about woman here. She tried. Oh, no, okay. she tried. They didn't try. Okay. No, they no, did, no. They didn't try. She did. She, she tried, but then. Don't be talking about that redhead. Don't be talking about redhead. But then they realized they had to ship 14 of them in a boat over the sea because that's, that's right. clearly that's where they were made. That's and right, boys. It's just yeah, going to take they, a minute for them to get here. Standard payment. Do you see what payment. they say about them? Straight from Indonesia. They're the ultimate. ultimate. Bad the weather. Ultimate bad well, weather. Well, what if it's good weather when you wear them? Take them off. Hey, well, the good hey, part is. Take them off. Hey, take them off during bad weather. You wear them in bad weather, and that's, that's why they didn't try and make them look good. <laughs> These are bad because weather glasses. See you. They're fair weather glasses. <laughs> bad. Hey, bad. They're bad, bad, to the they're bad weather bone. Bad to the bone glasses. But that's tired. You that's just lovely. gotta hope it's <laughs> raining hard enough that <laughs> nobody sees you wearing them. <laughs> no, I, no. We say, "Sir, the bad weather's coming." Hold on, boys. Let me get my bad glasses. Let me oh, change my glasses. Bad. And bad since the day I was born. They look like a transformer. Look at them. Okay, enough about battle. Uh, look, they're going to be cool when I get them. You think so? Oh, well, of course they are. I, all I know is they better like send you a check in them for free for this. So I need you to diagnose a dream that I had. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Do we got time, David? Hey, David? Hey, how, how long's the dream? That's one Not of my too long. Do you have a lot of dreams? Hey. I can't remember a lot of them. So, but so you remember I, this one. I remember this one and a couple other ones. Now I've got a, a few reoccurring, like where you. I think that. Well, uh, let me tell I've you about mine. And, I had the other night. Oh, I got something to tell you about a dream. <laughs> I went the speed of light. The dream episode. I've actually went the speed of light. Is in this a, in your dream? Uh, yes. Were you sleepwalking? And look and look. No. And it was on a a little, a little like a uh, what's them uh, skateboard? A little small skateboard. Hoverboard. Yeah, hoverboard. Like in Back to the Future Part Two? Yeah. It was like a hoverboard, and See, I was afraid I was going to fall off. I was going so fast. Bam. <laughs> Did you have your look? Hey, Did it hold look on. like everything was blurred oh, no. oh, coming yeah. by? Everybody, but oh, were you yeah. wearing these glasses uh, to help no, you through no, the storm? No, I wasn't wearing uh, these glasses. Oh, oh well, you would have never this. fallen off if right, you wore those. I'm wearing, that's why I'm buying them. Oh, in case I you I want to go the speed of light without... Having eye protection. So what happened well, in the dream? Uh, what happened? I, well, I was afraid. I, I woke up because I was afraid I was going to fall off. Were you, were you like dream. unbalanced? Oh, no. I, I wasn't sure I could stay up. 
did the Beach Boys music start playing at any moment in this trip? No. Okay. No, did no. you have flashbacks of, of John Godwin jumping on his motorcycle? That's right. The, the flying, flying free, free, baby. Flying free. Hey, look, the flying free actually passed me. <laughs> so he was going faster than the speed. Hey, Tomac like, won, A1. Hey, oh, A1, boys. He, he oh, beat it. He beat A1 steak sauce? No. <laughs> that stuff's not that good. Angel Stadium, baby. <laughs> Angel no. Stadium. Oh, Angel Stadium. Yep. Well, on that note, don't congratulations to Tomac, but I, I want to take a break, and then I need to hear. Is anybody going to beat him? Angel, don't, Angel Is Stadium going to win the championship? I, I would take your word and say he would. He's going to be tough. He's going to be tough. That's all I know. Sexton's gunning for him, though. Yeah, well, I hear that. From you. <laughs> <laughs> the, way, the way you feel right now the way I feel when y'all talk about football. And, hey, <laughs> and that's why we're all such good friends. That's right. That's right. And speaking of good friends, I do want to inter- I want Sai to interpret your dream. I need it. So let's take a break. Uh, well, hey, well, hey, stay tuned. How you much is this going to cost me? You don't want to hope. Uh, and that depends on how far, how much interpretation I give you. Yeah. He's going to put me to sleep. Yeah, it depends yeah. on the right. dream. Look, so everybody's got goals for 2023, right? And one of your goals should be... Go fishing more. <laughs> yes, but also save more money, spend less money. And one great way to do that is by switching to Mint Mobile. It's the easiest way to save this year. First company ever to sell premium wireless service online only. Mint Mobile lets you order from your home and save a ton with your cell phone plans. Guess how much they cost. How much would you say a cheap cell phone plan is, Phil? Phil? Hundred dollars, fifteen dollars a month. I know Hunter just signed up. Our producer said it was super easy to set up. You put it in your SIM card, boom, you're there. It works well, and he's saving a bunch of money. So that is a great thing because not everybody gets a cell phone from work, and you—that's one of the big expenses these days. Because everybody I know, but Cy, si, needs a cell phone, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. And they send you a SIM card. And whatever phone you got, and we all got like seven of them in a drawer somewhere, that's it. You can use your that own easy. phone. You use your own phone. You got a phone. I got a phone. Use your own phone. You switch to Mint Mobile. You get premium wireless service, unlimited talk and text, and high-speed data starting at just $15 a month. That is a great deal. So to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, Go to mintmobile.com slash duck. That's mintmobile.com slash duck. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash duck. I'm ready for some psychiatry. Okay. Psychiatry 101. Nope. Class L1. Just one. Just one. What? We're, we're, we're fighting with rednecks here. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Here's the deal. All right. When did this start? So, this has been like a reoccurring dream, and that oh, I oh, this is a reoccurring. Yeah. So, oh, well, so, you know it by heart, then. Yeah, and, and I've had this dream probably. Well, wait, wait, hold, hold. How many times has has this dream reoccurred? I would say three or four times a year. So I'm familiar with it. Once a quarter. And here, and here's here's the way it starts. What? What's the quarter business? I don't know. <laughs> he's he's making a silver dollar at least. <laughs> okay. He, he's okay. talking about the calendar. Con- All right, continue. Yeah. So, so I'm in a place, I, and it, it, I don't. It's it's where I live, and it's like my home. But then I hear some wild animals. Oh, hold, is this a happy place? Yeah, it's like my oh, home. Oh, it's like your home. Okay, a happy place. So you're in a good mood. I, I yeah. just want to make sure it's a happy place. And I okay. hear a bunch of animals squalling and screaming and running. Goblin and, and then I see them coming across my land. And I don't know what they're running from, but what I don't know. What kind have, of critters is it? I don't know. All kind I mean, of animals. He all kind of animals. Yeah. I mean, I, I think maybe from the podcast where we talked about giraffes and all that stuff, it's some of those in the dream. Good grief. Is Sai riding the giraffe? Si, no, Sai's not oh. in the dream. He's and no not crocodiles are chasing us. Well, come on. Come so, on so all right. So the animals are running by. Something's chasing them. I don't have time to go get my gun. So I'm I'm looking to see what it is. And all of a sudden, it's like a tiger comes around the corner. And it's too late for me to get away. So I'm running. And I'm now you're joining the animals. You running too. But I, but I, but they're done. They're gone. They're long gone. Oh, they gone. And I'm like running, trying to climb a tree, you know. And then right before he gets me, I wake up. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. 
I'm like, yeah. well, you got away. Why well, you? I, I got. I got. So far, I've gotten away every time. You're still here. Hey, that's a good thing because if he gets you, you ain't gonna wake up. <laughs> that may be true. Hey, no, no. Hey, no. I, you don't know. You, no, you want me to tell you what you're running from? Yes. The flood. <laughs> what is the flood? The flood. The flood. Hey, what flood? Hey, Noah. Genesis. If you go to Genesis, then you'll read about it. Eight yeah. were saved. They were floating <laughs> okay. on water. But the tiger. Uh, hey, where did, on. On. Where did Noah? Nine. The tiger would have got on the ark. Huh? Yeah. Where did Noah keep, <laughs> no, Noah, his, keep Noah, his bees? Noah hadn't showed up yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, the ark. That stinks for you. This is just the animals <laughs> coming. Yeah, I was the one that didn't make the ark. Yeah. I guess. Hey, I need Where to did Noah it. keep the bees? Huh? In a beehive? In a beehive. In the archive. In the archive. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> We're here all week, folks. Just stay tuned. <laughs> Do you want me to freak you out right now? What? You've been having the same exact dream? I've had nearly the identical dream. Oh, my goodness. Really? I walked out to get my mail. I look over. There's a tiger down the street, and I'm like, this isn't good. And you got no time. No, it ain't. Because it should have been a rhino. That had been, well, I would have walked towards a rhino. Maybe not. Well, that's what I'm talking about. But the tiger starts running at me. I run, get to the door, try and get inside, wake up. See, you could have then yelled, Carter, come on out here, and we're going to ride the rhino. <laughs> that is true. He would, no, he'd be like, yeah. Oh, no, he'd have rode the rhino. Trust he would me. for sure ride right. a rhino. That's it. So I what is it? Talking about. Are you a believer in, like, dreams? Because back, the Bible's full of people yeah. dreaming, and it's like God telling them stuff. Yeah, I, th- I think there's, I, you a, know, there's interpreting vision. of dreams. I have it's studied some of this in school, and so it could be that I'm, um, Stressed out or anxious about something, you know, worried mm. about something, which I don't want to be. But when when you sleep, you can't help it. You, you got no control over it, really. Oh, you know, uh oh, <laughs> that's just, hilarious. He just thought of a dream. <laughs> no. no, no, you're you're not gonna believe this. Okay? You had the same dream. You've had no, this, no, you dreamed of a no, tiger too. No, 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 no. He was no, chasing no. the tiger. Look, okay, <laughs> since I've had both eyes done. Yeah. Well, when you do Yesterday. them, okay. They give you eye drops, three bottles, different bottles. Yeah. And you've got to use the three eye drops four times a day. Blue and yellow. <clears throat> so last night, we're, and we're in and bed stuff. asleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Boy. I can't wait to hear it. We may no, no. be needing to go get some of no, eye drops. No, no. <laughs> what do no, you no. need? Give me there some of those eye drops. scream from my wife last night. Scream. Yeah. Was she getting chased by a tiger? No. Oh, no. But it was worse. Hold on. Let me guess. She, Did she, she see you wearing these glasses? No, no. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, I she, mean it. Hey. She pounces on me like a tiger. Uh-oh. High five. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. That's a family no. show now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You know, I, I said, it's okay. It's okay. It's proud people said, still love each other. She said, so we got up, yo, know, this morning. She said, did I scream last night? I said, yes, ma'am, you did. I said, why? Why was you screaming? She said, because your eye popped out. <laughs> <laughs> I said, she's been putting eye drops in my eyes for the last two weeks. While you were sleeping? Uh, no. <laughs> but so she had a dream that my eye popped out. Oh. Oh yeah, it was hilarious. I I died laughing. Oh, it was it was it was it was hilarious. Well, I had a dream. Uh oh. And this is I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. So, Most dreams are. So I'm hunting. What are you hunting? I'm hunting. This is deer hunting. Oh, okay, deer hunting. And there's there's a buck coming, and I'm bow hunting. So he's a little bit too far, but he's coming my way. Well, the dogs bark. Dogs bark, and the deer in my dream runs off. But the dogs were in the house. They woke me up barking. <laughs> Do you have dogs at home? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Oh, <laughs> at least that's good. good thing. There's dogs in his house barking. Dog. That's, why I was, that's why I was wondering. I remember. I ain't remember you saying I got dogs. Yeah. I don't have a tiger. Oh, no, the dogs in the house started barking. <laughs> Run the deer off and woke me up. Mm. The deer in my dream run off because the dogs bark. Yep. 
That's wild how your brain makes that happen. The dogs are barking, and then in your dream, the deer's running off. That is wild. I had that happen Explain in class. Explain that. I had that, I had that happen in class. You dream you did the work you were no, supposed no, to be doing? I'm, I've got a deer, a big buck coming toward me, and I got a bow, too. You know, and there's a noise. And when the noise happened, I go, shh. <laughs> it was the teacher. She was. She knew I was asleep. <laughs> And she was trying to wake me up. I said, shh, you're going to scare the deer. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> the, then the whole class bust out in laughter, and I wake up. You know, and I said, what's yeah. so funny? And they said, you were asleep. A lot of people don't know this. John, I don't know if you do or not, but Cy used to be a bad sleepwalker. Oh, I still do. I mean. I heard he That's not good for someone that out. sleeps as oh, much. Oh, no, no, as no. Sleep. My sister. Okay, she's on a date with a football player. <clears throat> he comes, he drops her, and they stand, they come walking up on the porch, and he fixes to kiss her good night. Oh, boy. Well, when he does, I just step in between and push both of them apart and walk down the steps. And he said something, but when I, I looked back at him, took off running. He caught me about a mile down the road. What? Was you scared yeah. of me? Hey, <laughs> out running. <laughs> She's were smoking. You were sleeping when you did this. I was sleep. <laughs> they told asleep. me. Or did you just say, "Watch this"? I'm no, no. Act like I'm, uh, no, no. Uh, no, they <laughs> told me about it the next day. <laughs> you know, and I said, "Well, how far did you chase me?" He told me past Dal Bernie's house. That was about a mile away. Oh, he God. said he finally caught you down there. Yo, know? did it scare you when he woke you up? He didn't wake me up. He just walked me back. You know, he put me in bed. You know, and kissed the kid good night and said, okay, see you tomorrow. Then they told me about it the next day. He said, you're oh. pretty quick. Mm. What does that hey. dream mean? Well, hey, oh, oh, hey. I I, just the only thing I know is, hey, don't don't say nothing to somebody dreaming, walk, sleepwalking. They tell you not to wake them up. Because they'll, they'll start and swinging. hurt you. Pop, pop. Yeah, they'll oh. hurt you. Imagine oh. waking up stone who's already ready to hit somebody okay. at I any can't. moment. And you're like, hey, yeah. wake up. Like, That's when you get a long stick and get out of reach. <laughs> you know, hey, wisdom. Yeah, hey, Take a broom handle. Godwin oh. was with us on a uh, fishing trip where where Sinky crashed that drone. Oh yeah. And he and he and he took he overdosed on Dramamine accidentally because he took too much of it. So he, he was, was sleeping yeah. hard. Well, I went to go wake him up. Nobody told me, don't ever wake Sinky up. I went to go shake him, and he jumped up with some kung fu. Yeah. I, was, I took off oh, running. I was like, Look out. What happened? Oh, thank you. He, oh, said, thank he you. said, oh, yeah, don't ever wake me up when I'm sleeping. I'll kill somebody. I was like, yeah, I'll, yeah, send, uncle, I'll send signs. Like he that. got up one night. We was in Oklahoma. Was you with us on that trip? Duck hunting. He just woke up in the middle of the night, went to hollering at me like he was going to fight me. I mean, we was asleep. I just told him. I said, "Go back to sleep." <laughs> that was like, Oh, he jumped up on the bed and. Yeah, you've seen oh, it, it then. Yeah, I've seen it. Tell yeah. me, you he, better go he, back to sleep, wild. or I'm gonna knock you out. Knock you out. Well, let's take a break, and I think we need to dive deeper into Philip getting chased by tigers. Tigers. Who so was, I didn't really. Who was chasing the tigers? Good question. Hey. We'll discover who was chasing the tiger. You don't want to know. Here in the duck call room, you know this. We're all, we're all just normal dudes <laughs> that have normal drink it hot weight problems. And, I like to drink it cold. Drink okay. it hot. <laughs> and we're talking about athletic greed. That's, That's right. right. Running, being healthy. He's running wide open down the field. And throw the pass. And for some reason, they're arguing on hot or cold. Phil, you, you're, you and Alicia are both taking it, right? Yeah, we love it, and uh, we drink it cold, and drink then you hot. wait, and then you wait an hour. And then you don't eat or drink anything for an hour, and you get all those vitamins, and you got energy. I mean, it's 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 all great day. stuff. My wife's taking it too; Look, she's got it on it now. You're going to spend the money on some kind of drink, so yeah. you might as well. Get Here's this. the best part Thank about you. when you drink it: you get 75 Five. high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, immune probiotics, system. and adaptogens. Support your gut system, your nervous system, immune system, great energy, for your gut, recovery, focus, and aging. Here's why I believe in this. Because it makes me feel better, and absolutely, here's the deal: we're 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 just normal dudes. We're not fitness gurus, but 
I, we can tell a difference. Yeah. And gives we're you more super, energy. We're not Superman. And we're I ain't hot. trying to be a fitness guru and figure out all the different things I need to take. I want to put one scoop in water, shake it up, drink it, and be done with it. And, we're and close, that's the so. best way to do it, right? Yep. Yeah. And so we're you close. can get all the hot. things you need hot. right there in the morning for less than a cup of coffee or an energy drink or whatever you're drinking every morning. This does not cost that much. Mm -mm. So you get can it. jump over a tall building. And That's right. Mind. We cannot guarantee that, <laughs> but I can guarantee <laughs> yeah, that you will be arming your immune system and your health going into the flu and cold season. And it's just one scoop of water every day. That's it. No need to rifle through all the pills and That's it. different medicines and vitamins Faster than and a speeding bullet boom you got it all right there and to make it even easier than that athletic greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune supporting vitamin d and five free travel packs for when you're on the road with your first purchase all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck again that's athleticgreens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance drink it hot drink it cold Do you interpret? What do you think? He's like Daniel. Getting chased by a tiger. No. Oh, chased by a tiger. In your drink. Reoccurring. So there's a, is there a tiger in Phil's life that we need to hash um, out here? Um, You're the psychiatrist. Um, See what I did there? <laughs> no. I, I keep doing it. It's, it's Alicia. <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> She's the tiger. She's the tigress. Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> She's the tigress. Hey, she woke me up. <laughs> now, I'll tell you this, John David. I fell asleep on the couch watching TV. We had a fire going because it's been cold. Oh, I had a fire. <laughs> Were you watching... Tiger King on Netflix. No. Okay, that's negative. That's we a good were, We were watching one of her shows, Gilmore Girls or something. I don't even know. I don't. Or it may have been The Lion King. Maybe The Lion King. Exactly. She woke me up. That movie's about like, lions. Wake up. Come to bed. And it scared me because my dream at that time was that me and her were out on a date. And so her waking me up scared me because I didn't know who she was. And if I knew who she was, well, then who was the other person? That's right. Hey. And I told her that. And she was like, yeah, you got to come get to I'm confused. Yeah, That's what dreams do. They confuse you? They confuse everybody. I don't have many They really dreams. do. I just go to sleep and I wake up. Size flies Every once in a while I'll have one. See, but that's like kind of easy to interpret. Oh, no. The it's worst. just how Sai lives his whole life. Oh, no, no. That's, Light hey. speed, just everything's oh, wonderful, no. just surfing on a surf. No, no. Here's the worst one, that I, and this is a real occurrence. With you? Oh, yeah. Is it involve a giraffe? I've dreamed this dream a thousand times. I can't wait to hear it. No, no. I'm always on, uh, I don't even know how to say this. I always get myself, I like I'm, I'm on a high mountain. Okay. Okay. And there's no way I can get off of it and safely and, and, and you know, live. So how are you going to get down? No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's, where I, that's when I wake up. When I get to the point that I know there's no way I'm going to live through this, I know this one. that's when I wake up. <laughs> I heard it. You know what this, oh. you know what that is? It's because it's lonely at the top. It's lonely at the uh, top. Uh, what? Well, how come but you, you have, can never hold run? On. You have friends, though, that would help you down. Like, if you were no, stuck no, on top of no the mountain. Getting, no, no, there's no getting down from this. Stone would, like, climb it with his teeth. No. And get you down. No, and there's carry no getting you down from this. You know, like a little baby swaddle all the way down. No. Stone would do that for no. you. No, well, yes, he would. But a, there's no a, way. There's no way to get out from where I'm at. So are is you it afraid? a floating mountain? mountain? Huh? Is it a floating mountain? No, it's it's like you know, it's like I'm I'm trapped right on the edge of a pinnacle in the Grand Canyon. Hmm. That's what it's like. I'm on a cliff, and there's no way off of it, <laughs> except you're going to fall and die. But you never fall. We need well, no, no, I always wake up. Coyote. I, I always wake up when I get to that point in the climb. That's so, wild. So you're going up? You're climbing up? I'm climbing up this stupid thing. Yeah. Well, Is there a helicopter? No. You'll never get no. to the top, son. And no parachute. <laughs> yep, I'd never get to the top. <laughs> Is there a backpack? <laughs> no, ain't no backpack. How come in dreams you can never run? <laughs> as hard as you try, you can't. Oh run. no, no, that's not true. You can run, you just can't run fast enough. Because I was running from the line, and he was right behind oh, me. Oh no, I climbed that tree. That's another dream I have. And I wake up, and I am soaking wet. Mm. And I didn't pee the bed again. <laughs> okay, hey, well, I'm just saying. 
You know, I'm, I'm serious. I have woke up, okay, just out of breath and just my T-shirt, underwear, soaking wet. Trying to get I'm away. I'm sweating. Trying, trying to get away. Yeah. You know? I mean, you're moving, but isn't it like you Oh, said, no, no, it's no, never, no. It's never fast enough. <laughs> oh, no, Man, yeah. You working your tail off. Oh, no, no, no. Cause I'm serious. I've actually woke up and was soaking wet. You know, I get it. It's bed. The sheets were wet. You know, it looked like I, it's like I took a shower, jumped out of the shower in the bed. Mm. I'm serious. It was just like that, and I wake up. <gasps> <gasps> Yo, it seems crazy. real at the time. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, what about this? Real. You ever rolled off the edge of your bed? I used to have a big oh, problem. Yeah. I've oh, yeah. fallen no. off the edge. But oh, no. all, actually... it's, you're always in your dream falling off of something. <laughs> oh, no, no. I've, I, I, I've screamed you. before, like you were talking about, and hit the floor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you always falling off of something. <laughs> you never had any of these dreams? <laughs> no, I've fallen off. When oh, I was yeah. a kid, How they, did your mind do that? They had to put up rails because I was just always on the ground. That's mm. what One time a kid fell off the top bunk at Camp Chioka. That was a bad night. Was it you? No, I was That's why I don't like people. bunk beds. Well, boom. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I don't like bunk beds. You, did, fall, you fall out of them too much. Well, you got to have a rail. Well, safety. Well, hey, they didn't have a rail. I don't want to be on the bottom because I got a phobia that so it's crashing. gonna fall. Yeah, crashing. Yeah, I can't sleep good yeah. on under, underneath. I'm like, stay up all night looking around. No, nope, because that's why they said, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm getting on top." I said, "I ain't getting on there." The uh -huh. crash. Well, what you. else weird happened in dream? <laughs> <laughs> are we in a dream now? <laughs> no. No, no. Think about when when uh, who was it that that had the dreams and then Daniel had the. Oh, that was, was it Nebuchadnezzar? Yeah, the king, king Nebuchadnezzar. About, about the fat, and he said, the bring fat cow, the Rush, fat cow, the skinny cow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's wild. Yeah, he, didn't he the told fat, him like it was. Hey, didn't the fat cows eat the skinny cows or something? <laughs> something something, like, something that. like that. Hey, well, I'm just saying that, you know, I would be, that would be wild to have that kind of mm. dream. It would be wild and like oh. to have a dude come up to you and say, "Let me tell you what this means, Philip. You're the tiger oh, in yeah. your life." Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, people are going to speculate, but but you know, I'm telling you, it comes from whatever you're involved in in your life. Like, I probably have so many commitments and obligations and so many things going on. And it's, it's, it's something stressful about the issue because I knows I, I work yeah. and help a lot of nonprofits. I mean, it, it's so I'm torn at every angle, and I'm worried about kids and families and all kinds of stuff. I think that was has to play into it does. the stresses of all yeah. these things coming at me, you know. And then those finally, are all the animals running from the tiger. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what, what the tiger is. What but, is the tiger? I, I don't know, but he ain't got me yet. <laughs> he ain't got him yet. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I can that's say good. that. That's good. It's hard. It's hard to interpret. You know, I would say. You can't, can't get into the mind of Sai. Sai's right giving you that icy stare, right? Oh, he's, no, 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 he's thinking. He's no, no, I can see him thinking. The little part, no, no, no. turning upside down, thinking, thinking. This, this, when I was thinking about our veterans, yeah, okay, that have gone through some really Ooh. seriously bad mm -hmm. combat trauma, yeah, okay, yeah. and that's what they have to deal with. Oh yeah, every day, yeah. You know, yeah, so I, I would, you know, I, uh, and that's why I, I just look because, like, you know, how how do you help someone with that? Yeah, you know, you're a doctor, a doctor of psychiatrist. Okay, how do you help someone with that? I don't. Okay, because all you've done is run, read a bunch of books. That's right. right. You ain't been through it. A lot of times, that's why. There. That's why the only people that can really help a veteran that's gone through that. Is another veteran that's gone through the same junk. That's why they Believe tell that. you that uh, uh, soldiers in combat form a bond that is stronger than blood. Yeah, yeah, than kin. And I think they can help them better. No, no. Now they can be helped by people who haven't really been in. But the, you know, look, I can tell you about a lot of grievance because I've had a lot of grievance uh, or grief. So, uh, but if I don't know, I haven't been in the military, so I can't tell you all those things, but I understand loss. I understand, yeah. you know, yeah. so there's some things you can get help with, but when you go a little deeper, like you're talking about, you need somebody that's been there. Yeah. You know, common sense would say it. Okay. Hey, you know, the Indians used to say, okay, hey, don't judge me unless you've walked a mile in my moccasins. Yeah. 
Oh, I you believe know? it. I and believe that's, that for that's sure. That's the thing about our veterans, okay? Well, unless you've been that, you've walked that ground, you you can't help them. Mm -mm. You know, a doctor that reads books and stuff, you know, I mean, I know he's well-educated and he he's means well. But unless you go through it, that's why uh, Dr. Warren's books yeah. that he writes. Yeah. Okay. Lee, Lee Warren. Yeah, Lee Warren. And, and he's writing another one that I, I wrote a little uh, intro or whatever you want to call it. And, we, and we're going to have him on this show, so I, Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, that would be, that would be a while. Because I, I, when uh, Weldon was asking me, you know, because he, he's the one that actually wrote it. I just told him what I thought. Yeah. You know, and I said, well, it's a must read. I said, because here's a man and his wife and his kids that are giving you 50 years of their life experiences. You know, so it's, and I mean, he's had some bad ones. Mm -hmm. Number one, he's a brain surgeon, okay? And all his patients are terminal. Yeah. So he deals with, I mean, like I, 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 I told him, I said, you know, I never really thought about this till I read your book and got to know you and talk to you on the phone. Mm -hmm. You know, I said you deal with death on a daily basis, and you come to love these people, and you know, he wrote one book. He said, I, the title of it was I've seen the last of you. You know, because when they come to him. They've got a brain tumor and it's terminal. Oh. You know, they don't, you know, they don't live through it. Mm -mm. You know, so it, it was one of them things I said, I would hate to know that I had to get up every day and stare death in the face every day. That's my job. I said, I don't, you know, and he's a very religious man also. So he's got all these issues about he's fighting Okay, first of all, he's trying to do his best to help them and knowing that that's kind of a futile effort. Yeah. You know, but he still gives it his best shot. It's because of his heart. Oh, yeah. You know, and, but I'm just saying, <clears throat> most people don't, you know, you know, <clears throat> you know, because I always say, you know, everybody's talking about, oh, man, I got a deadbeat job and all this. And I always bring them up. I said, no, you hadn't. I said, think of the dung beetle in Africa. He rolls manure. That's that's his life. But it's very important that he does that. Because everywhere he roses that manure, he's fertilizing everything. So it, your deadbeat job may you think is bad, <clears throat> but it, it has a bigger purpose. Yep. Yeah. So two things I want to uh, I'd like to bring up is one uh, so I, I appreciate you <clears throat> with the military guys um, going and speaking and encouraging them and you've been a voice for uh, veterans for a long time so I appreciate that and the other thing is you know when you're when you're dealing with a lot of these things it get this is it gets kind of deep you know when you're dealing with problems and issues and things but we have hope in the resurrection. Jesus is the answer to whatever problem you're going through. Don't ever forget that. And, you know, one day we're going to be away from here and with him forever. So that's what I put my hope in. Si, you just pulled up a box. No, no, I know. And this is from the, the title of it is Saving a Z, A Z, A Z, A Z, I Z by Chad Robichaud, a young man we just met, the family met, the Robertson family. They go, okay. Uh, he's actually just has wrote a book. Okay. How the mission to help one became a calling to rescue thousands from the Taliban. Okay. So these people, him and his team, okay, go to like Afghanistan and all these places that are, have, uh, you know, bad people. Yeah. He's okay. got a bunch of tours over. And yeah, and they they go in and help, I think up to date, they've like helped seventeen thousand people get out of it. Mm. Okay. 
But I just, when we got to talking about this, I, I thought about this, the, the book he gave me. Mm. Yeah. But it's just, uh, but Philip said something that's very important. Hold on, go. Jesus is the answer to all of mankind's problems. Period. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So I, I wanted to emphasize that again. Okay. Because Al taught a lesson a couple of weeks ago. And he showed the contrast life with Jesus. And then I want him to use the term without him, there is no life. Okay. You got two things that you're, you're at. If you're, if you're life with Jesus and then you look it up, the, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, all the good stuff. Okay. Life without Jesus. And like I said, I don't even like that term. Life. There is no life without Jesus. Okay, you got two things you're facing, darkness and evil. That's, yep. boom. Without him, all you looking at is darkness and evil everywhere, period. With him, you got a chance for life and abundant life. Love, joy, peace, patience, yeah. all kindness, the good stuff. gentleness. Yeah. But stuff. I just wanted to reemphasize the thing that Philip said, okay, with, with Jesus, you know, he's the answer to all our problems. Yeah, I'll get off of it. Jesus, well, he, you're right. Jesus is the answer to all your problems, and he gave you people in your life, brothers and sisters in Christ. Yep. And we're walk supposed with to help you. each other. And it's just like in, I think it's, oh, I'm going to guess here. Somebody mm -hmm. can fact check me. I think it's in Matthew 11. You know, there was a lame man, and he couldn't get to Jesus. But, but, his, but his friends could. But his friends could, and then yeah. they couldn't get to Jesus because there were too many people in the way. And then I like to think one of them looked at the other and said, let's just go through the roof. Let's, let's, re roof. let's redneck this. Uh, let's hey, go no, through no, the yeah. roof. You know hey, redneck <laughs> problem solving, baby. Hey. Cut a hole so, in the so roof. I, I Cut a hole in the roof and lower him down to I don't know how we got <laughs> here on dreams and all that, but I just love the fact that we went from all that to – you got to have somebody that's been through what you've been through to help you, and Jesus is that answer. Well, hey, here's the deal I want to say. We had a person write in and talking about, well, he, he lost his grandfather. Mm -hmm. And I had told him, I said, hey, dude, at least you got to know him mm -hmm. and spend yeah. time with him. That's right. That's one of the issues in this boy's life, Sarah Robertson's life. I didn't get to know either one of my grandparents, the males. Okay. Yeah. You know, and I've always, you get something from a grandfather or a grandmama, okay, that is nowhere else you're not going to get it from anyone else. Yeah. And it's the thing about, hey, they've lived their life and then their their wisdom yep. is they share it with their, their you know, Passing grandchildren. Down. Grandchildren. Yeah. For sure. well, you, okay. Your own kids don't listen to you yeah. anyway. <laughs> well, I know, but, but That's I'm right. just saying. I'm on grandpa. But, hey, but they'll listen to grandmama and grandpa. They will, yeah. Okay, and and that's from uh, life experiences, okay? That's why I, I wrote a little intro for Dr. Warren's book. You know, this man is sharing his entire life with us and his family. You know, and, yep. uh, yeah, so it, it's powerful. Well, I like what you said, too, about, you know, a band of brothers. When you have the same experience, you can help. For sure, for it. sure. Well, we got to take a break now. Um, oh, good but grief. we would be amiss <laughs> to we not. Just, we just uh, took one. I don't know if we break did Break it again. It's going fast. He going to break it off. Hey, good. When we're, we're having fun. But we do need to say to all those who have served and in combat veterans, and uh, if you're going through stuff, First of all, we thank you for your service. And second, That's do right. not harm yourself. And second, Good. find somebody we love to talk you. to. We love hey, you. Find yeah. somebody to help you. There's thank people you out your there heart. that want to help you and help you with whatever you're going through. Um, and you did that for us as Americans to be able to sit in a goofy podcast room and talk about Jesus and talk about tigers chasing us and riding giraffes. <laughs> and I can't think of a better life <laughs> than that. And so we thank you very much for that service. And we want you to know we love you and appreciate you. We'll be back. That's right. All right. And we're back and we got, we, we got some actual mail. 
Is oh, it something? Not from the email. A bell box. Look, well, this is, that, is it something to read? It says it, Hickory Farm, so I'd assume uh, it's food. Uh, uh, Hickory uh, Farm. I'm hungry well, already. That baby right over Look here. at this. It's like a fancy wow. oh, three boxes with a bow, and it's from our biggest fan. Oh, oh. like a Russian oh. dog. Who's our biggest fan? It itself. says Zachary Dasher. Oh, <laughs> oh good. <laughs> hey, make sure it ain't a bomb. So I open it. So Zach I is open it. kind of in charge of this whole operation Sam made the a <laughs> but i just want zach to know we appreciate the christmas gift that was clearly stamped january 9th 2023 man that was that's real. a re he re-gifted that <laughs> yeah uh, he did you re-gift this zach? he got it he got it and didn't want it so he sent it to us no, what is he got us a nice little oh. snacks crackers sausage okay. cheese crackers. he knows us candy okay. Candy, okay. There's some sausage in there. There's some sausage and There's cheese. Sausage and you cheese can claim that, food. Godwin. But Mr. Oh, Dasher, we thank hey. you for the Christmas gift. Check it out. What? Wow, yeah. summer sausage. Hey. All right, here we hey. go. Honey, oh, and mustard. Uh, honey pineapple mustard. Oh, I can't have it. Cheddar, boys. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar. I have the cheese everything's better with cheddar. That's right. Because everything's, everything's better with cheddar. Better with cheddar. Cheddar.com. Oh, I don't know if that's a website. By the way, I was just I was like a got milk commercial there. Um. Anyway. Uh oh, he's back. Look who's back, Hunter. 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 Our Hunter. producer had to come hey, out. He can't go nowhere. Without Give me my keys because he's got to go to. Let class. the dogs in. Yeah, that's what I just. Oh, don't turn the dogs loose. <laughs> the dogs are loose. Oh, the dogs. Oh, that was weird. Right, anyway, our producer just dog. left because he has to go to class and then he forgot his keys. Oh, but I mean, oh, he's learning. That's what I just said. And that's I think it. he might actually send this patient. email. That's in. where he's going. I'm just kidding, Hunter. You didn't send this in, but you're gonna laugh when you're editing this because I said it was you. Uh, Vernon <laughs> emails in, and I just think we need to stop him in his tracks. Uh oh, Hunter. No, Vernon. Vernon. Vern. All right, Vernon's question. Very simple. Oh, Vern. Know what I mean, Vern? The subject line is asking a girl out. Uh-oh. We'll let Madison ask, answer this. Yes. Yeah, we have a new producer. Yeah. <laughs> they sent two ladies in the room to keep us like from saying too much outrageous stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I think I know how she would respond to this. I think. How long how? have you known Madison? Well, I don't, your, I don't, but she's verse. a lady, and I know. Well, well, give you a version of forty-six. Madison. Let's hear. I it. mean, how long have we, you, you've oh. got? What fifty-one years of marriage? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Wow. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. 34. Hold on. Eighty-six. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. That's tough math. One hundred seventeen. Plus, we're at one hundred and twenty-nine years of marriage in here. So I mean, we might have a little bit of I advice. Read it. Vernon says you see a girl you think you might like on Instagram. You don't know each other. Red flag number one. You may or may not follow each other. Red flag number two. How do you go about sliding into her direct messages? Mm -hmm. Vernon, there's, you there's don't. There's all kind of problems with that. because Stop I mean, now, Vernon. <laughs> I'm giving a thumbs down from Madison. Madison. She's giving you a thumbs down. Madison says, do not do approach. Not. <laughs> do you know what any of this means? Do no not. trespassing. Do first not off, what, see well, this is what I wanted. Wait, wait, wait. What was the first line you read? You see a girl you think you might like on hey, Instagram. You see a picture. Hey, she hey. may be real. She may not, Si. That's, no, no, no. You could be catfished. You don't ever see a girl you think you might like. You got to you gotta talk to her and see her in person. Okay. Interesting. Hey. No, no. No. Every girl I've ever looked at, I like. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, well, no, I'm just we telling got it. you. Okay. Yeah. And look, I'll use it. The Bible says uh, you got to be bold when proclaiming the gospel. That's right. Well, hey, Where are look. you going with this? Hold on. He's hey, got somewhere. I'm look going, at him. I'm going toward the girl. He doesn't hey. know the girl. Well, hey, if hey, I didn't just, know walk up, just walk up and <laughs> introduce yourself. He, he can't. He does. He's only seen her on the internet. He don't even know if it's real, Sai. Yeah, this. He don't even know if it's real. He just sees a he's picture. He's in another well, state hey, or country. Or you're something. a computer person. You seen her on the internet. Hey, find out if she's real. Well, she's, first thing you do. I would first assume thing you do. she is hey, real. Find out and find out if she's real. But if you've never had a conversation, like that's just, like there's Oh hey, look. Find if someone you've never you had know. a conversation with a young lady. Hey, come out of the twilight zone and get real. <laughs> what no, I'm saying with this particular oh. one. 
He I, sees her all, profile. He's they're just, all particular ones. Okay, I'm going to try and explain this so Cy si can understand what's happening. Oh, no, you're never going to get he there. He sees a girl. <laughs> you're never going to get there because, hey, when I see a girl. <laughs> he don't only, have a computer. The only thing yeah. that's coming next is charge. Okay. <laughs> all right, I'm going to read this so Cy, si, to try and break it down for Cy. Si. <laughs> I see a girl I might like through a pair of binoculars standing across a river. I've never met her, and I've never talked to her. Get you a boat and <laughs> go across the river and meet her, <laughs> you <laughs> big dummy. <laughs> Should I send her a letter? If you ain't got a boat, swim. <laughs> All right, man. Size advice is go meet her in person. That's, That's right, buddy. But he's sitting What are you waiting for? And beware of the cops when you show up. Right. No, forget the cops. <laughs> We're talking about a girl here, y'all. You know? Hey, right, look. Uh, let me just make, <laughs> let me make it simple for you. James Brown was right. This world would be nothing without a woman or a girl, Jack. This is a man's That's world. Right. It's a man's world, okay? But hey, it ain't nothing without a woman or a girl. But there's so hey, get off your duff. <laughs> and ride, Clyde. <laughs> Size dating 101. I said dating yeah. 101. Yeah. Beware of that. Right. Beware. Yeah. I'm gonna don't slide into her DMs, but find someone. Don't you know. fight. Don't fight it, son. Before go you got it. married and you All were right, dating, whatever. this is how you approach things. I mean, you were bold. You would oh, go right. What are you talking about? You weren't scared to think. But were your friends nervous and scared to go talk to them? Yeah, but you weren't. No, no, he wasn't. Gotcha. He oh, that's just what I said, thought. get a, yeah. off your duff and Clyde, Clyde, oh, right, swim. Clyde, Clyde. Right, get on the camel and go. Who's got a camel Let's now? Let's again like we did last summer, Jack. Two, two humps. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey. All right. All I right. I got one more quick one just because Colin <laughs> needs some help, too. Colin's 21. 21. Yeah. Good age. 21. Him and his lovely lady. Oh, lovely lady. See, lovely. this kid gets it. <laughs> <laughs> have just started getting ready for a wedding in November. Oh, hey, he got it. He's there, and he's wondering our best wedding planning advice, but we kind of got to go rapid fire. You ready wedding. for my best wedding planning advice? Take it, John David. You don't. She does. You I'll, do what she says. I will just fix that. Just show you her. You get out find of it. Find out what time to be there. And hey, all you got to do is show up and say, I do, that's and right. I will. But if she asks you to take care of something before it, you do yeah, that. That's it. But it's her wedding. She's been dreaming about this for her whole life. You've been dreaming about the week after for your but whole life. I will give you Let some her have advice. That night. Let me give you some friendly advice from experience. Okay, I had a buddy of mine. His daughter met the man of her life, she thought. Oh, the money one. Okay, and look. Take dad, the money. here's what dad told both of them. I will give you $100,000 cash or... We can throw you a big wedding. <clears throat> hey, hundred thousand dollars is a lot of money. Thank you. You know what I'm thinking. Okay, here's the deal. Take the money and throw small. Hey, work. take the money and hey, run. Take the money, okay, and have you a justice of the peace <laughs> with a quiet little few people around you want to have your you at your cigar wedding. Wrapper, ring. okay. Put the hundred grand in 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 a savings account. <laughs> Drawing interest, okay, because trust me when I tell you, you'll need the money. Okay, she didn't. Hey, right, you know how long the marriage lasted? Six months. Six months. <laughs> Hundred grand, boom, gone. Gone for a party. Hey, okay, but I could have bought me a $100,000 mansion to live in. No. So, hey, look. Have you looked up the prices of mansions lately? Well, hey, I'm just telling you. Okay? <laughs> he just, he's looking for do a one room. I can do a lot with a hundred grand. That's true. But I'm just saying, hey, look. He just bought that truck. Yeah. Don't spend, <laughs> don't spend a extravagant amount of money. That's a good advice. On getting that is, married. Yeah. There it is. Okay. That's great advice. Yo, I'm serious. Do not Yo. go into debt. Do to not go into get debt to oh, have yes. a big okay? party. You, Hey, when you get married, you're going to go in debt anyway because she's going to get all the money. That's true. Okay. No. But, yeah, it's her wedding. Let her plan it. We're running yeah. out of time. Colin, we oh, hope the best and for we your marriage. And we were on a roll, too. We man. were on a roll today. Oh, I enjoyed that today. I'm going to send us out of here with the verse I mentioned earlier, Revelation 12, 11. They triumphed over him by the blood of, of the, the lamb. lamb and by the word of yeah. their 
testimony. testimony. That's what it's all about. So, hey, hey. We follow Jesus. We tell our stories about what Jesus and did look, for us. It's so good on TV right now because this is, hey, they're saying Jesus gets us. And he really does. Yeah, those commercials? Yeah. Those are good. Yeah, no, they are. That. Yeah. He gets us. Jesus understands us, okay? Boy, we started with like the worst commercial I've ever heard for some glasses, and you ended it with a great one. Well, no, no, I'm just saying, I, I had to bring that up because I, I love it. That's awesome. They finally put it on television. Jesus does get us, okay? And he loves us. Okay? That's right. All right, so we'll see y'all next week. But in the meantime, always remember, Jesus does get us. That's right. And go with Bleep. Jesus. Because, hey, life is with him. Without him is darkness and with him, evil. without him, <laughs> with, with him, that. without him, right, right. Yeah. with him, with him, you got, without without him. you got it all. Without him, you got nothing. <laughs> with him, with him, without him. him. Go with Jesus. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs>